Yeah. At least I've been here for the last four years, not going anywhere. The development I'm seeing in Abuja for the last six, nine to six months, I've never seen before. Some of the bridges that you go in the night, in fact, the uh, day before yesterday, I was driving with one of my drivers going to around uh, NIA. I saw that that bridge had been completed and tired and was an express road. I do not see why this Senate cannot pass this supplementary budget. I urge all of our colleagues, in view of what is happening in federal capital authority today, the minister has shown capacity and the minister has shown a very tough skin to work for uh, the FC, F, FCTA. I will urge other ministers who are sleeping to wake up and work like this minister. And he's also generated the revenue himself and is using it. So we should approve this uh, supplementary budget. I urge all our colleagues and uh, to support this bill and also to give more light to what he's going to do with the money. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Teenager East Senatorial District. Your Excellency, my leader, I'm not against this budget, but I feel when we are presenting budgets like this, we should do them in the right way so that posterity will also judge us right. When you are presenting a budget, a budget is supposed to come with a profile or, or breakdown of what the expenditure is, what is the source of the revenue, what is the performance of the previous budgets, and then from there we deliberate it. Even but if it is at, is going to be committed to the committee level, then at the committee level, that should be done. Then we're not supposed to debate it at a plenary. Thank you, Mr. President, for taking it seriously. The advice we've been dishing out, the Senate has been dishing out to all government agents in this country, to even all tiers of government, that please go out there and get the necessary revenue that accrues your entity. This is a period where when we need money, we need inflow and revenue to come to the coffers of government. <clears throat> we sounding this advice to everyone, to all agents of government, even all, to all tires. And uh, it's good that uh, the FC minister has taken this advice seriously by generating more funds. There was a budget that was brought and uh, there, were, there was a revenue target that was uh, uh, put forward by the FCT minister. But out of that you know, projection, the FCT minister has gone further, the FCT minister has gone further to garner more money, more revenue. So this is commendable. And is utilizing this money to develop, to further develop the FCT. So it's a welcome thing and it's something that uh, will advise other agencies other ties of government, other agents of government, other ministries, to take a cue to learn from what the minister has done. Please go out there. There are several revenues, you know, that, are, that remain untapped. So uh, it is good and it's commendable, and uh, we shouldn't waste any time by giving the go-ahead for the FC, FCT administration to utilize this money, because it's able to gather more money, you know, that uh, is now accruing to the coffers of the government. I so submit, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. In supporting this supplementary appropriation bill, I would like to ask. Well, I'd like to start by joining my colleagues, my distinguished colleagues, uh, Senator Kalu and the Deputy President of the Senate in commending the Minister of Federal Capital Territory for the good work he has been doing so far and especially for the additional revenue generated for the FCT. But I'd like to note, sir, that the 
the supplementary budget presented before us here does not give us any clarification on the revenue proposed or the usage of the funds. We are given two generic headings, total revenue proposed 98.5 billion and total expenditure proposed 98.5 billion. I, I want to suggest, Mr. President, that some further clarification should be required to enable this House know exactly where the revenue was generated and also how the expenditure would be made so as we could approve both the revenue and the expenditure against precise headings. Thank you, Mr. President. This is Senator. Thank you for the opportunity to lead the debate on the general principles of the FCT's Statutory Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2024. The bill was read the first time on Wednesday, 15th May 2024. The FCT 2024 Statutory Supplementary Appropriation Bill seeks to authorize the issue from the Federal Capital Territory Administration Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federal Capital Territory Administration account, the total sum of 98 billion 500 million naira only, to accommodate additional inflow from internally generated revenue, resulting to a revised total FCT IRS 2024 statutory revenue appropriation to the sum of 348 billion 720 million naira only. The FCT 2024 supplementary budget is to consolidate on the magnitude and scope of the ongoing projects simultaneously within the city center and across the six area councils in the territory to ensure that the vision of the renewed hope mantra for a befitting capital city for Nigeria and Nigerians is accordingly achieved. The summary of the 2024 FCT supplementary budget proposal is as follows. <clears throat> Total revenue proposed, 98 billion 500 million naira only, and total expenditure proposed it's in the sum of 98 billion 500 million naira only. Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues, I urge you all to give this bill an expeditious passage into law. I thank you and may God bless you. Deputy Senate President of the debate. So if, uh, so the leader of the Senate, you heard this observation. There is nothing before us to debate. Therefore, I will put the question. Those who are in support that this supplementary appropriation be now read a second time, say aye. aye. Those again say nay. Leader, approach.
the same colleagues. <laughs> the good thing about it is that the government has not yet landed. So because it does not, Senator, Senator Asukwa, Senator Karibi, Senator Orwell, Senator Orwell, and uh, What is uh, Senator Izunazo? <laughs> Senator Izunazo and Senator Ifayoba. You came first before Ifayoba, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so take the seat that Ifayoba is sitting. So Ifayoba will take the next seat because here we do things according to ranking. The Senate colleagues, Senate leader, the Senate is complaining that there is no meat attached to the bone. Do you have anything to say? Well, uh, Mr. Uh, to totally and without any reservation agree with the uh, observation made by distinguished Senator Sani Musa and of course re-echoed through uh, the voice vote of, uh, of uh, our dear colleagues. Mr. President, it is our tradition in Parliament that when uh, a money bill is presented. The agency that is bringing it through the relevant committee would attach a breakdown of the proposed budget estimates. In addition, we'll also attach a budget performance report on what this parliament previously passed. And the lead debate that was passed on to me, which I presented, of course, did not um, contain this. And to my surprise, the uh, distinguished chairman of the committee, uh, distinguished Senator uh, Bromai, uh, who is well respected by all of us as a distinguished uh, member of this hallowed chamber, uh, eventually came up uh, with uh, the breakdown of this budget estimate. But Mr. President, what is important is that observation had already been made. And what was submitted to me after I presented a lead debate cannot be deemed to have been presented to this Senate and upon which the Senate will take a decision. So even before talking about uh, a referral of this uh, supplementary budget uh, bill to the committee, I think it's important that we do the proper thing first. So what I would suggest, sir, the details, the breakdown having been presented now by the chairman, that he be allowed to go and make photocopies so that every senator here will have a copy of this. Uh, for, for that reason, Mr. President, if I have your permission, I would like the to say that, that we step it down the and go to the next order of the, of the day. The Senate the, Yes, sir. The Senate leader, uh, yes, indeed, the paper was bare and nothing was attached to it to enable you to take a decision as to whether I should go for a second reading or not. Now that it has everything, uh, is it the view of the Senate that we step this down until it provides all the details before we go into deliberation? Yes. Those in support say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The aye serve it. The, the supplementary appropriation of FCT is hereby stepped down. Leader of the Senate, next item.